What's up, everybody? It's what, Jim. And let's go ahead and do the review of episode 7 of Marvel's What I've actually got a bit of a headache and I've got a bit of a stuffy nose. So do do apologise if I do sound a bit a bit ill. But it, it's not COVID, so you don't, you don't have to worry about that. It's not it's nothing to, to really be worried about. It's nothing serious. I'm going to be okay soon. I'm, I'm, I'm not really that valid. I'm, I'm a little bit ill, but I'm not ill enough to go ahead and do a video. So, um... And that, and like I said, let's just start with the story for this episode of What If. This will also contain spoilers for What If. So if, if so, if you've not seen this episode, I would advise to watch the episode before watching this. But if you're not fussed fuss about the spoilers, then you get to go ahead and just watch this. But that being said, now let's get to it with the story for this. Episode. So there wasn't really much of a story in this episode. The the one the one that we got was just very very basic. It's literally just Thor throwing a party really. So it, it, I don't really know how to re else to re-explain the story because there isn't really much of one. In, term, in terms of the characters, this is probably the standout of the episode. There, there were lots and lots of characters, which it can make it a bit hectic in times, but it did have characters such as the Guardians of the Galaxy, um, before they were Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, How Howard the Duck, which is great to see him in another D Disney Plus um, what what if what if episode? He also had Korg, the Grandmaster, which I'm not sure if the Grandmaster was voiced by Jeff Goldblum. If 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 he is, that that is, that is really really cool. Um, and of course the main character in this episode, Thor, who I wouldn't say is is not the most likable character. I do don't feel like this is the more likable version of Thor. Um, it it's a version of Thor that doesn't have a brother of Loki. Um. But he was still enjoyable and fun to see. He's just not not as likable as he as he could have been. Um, in terms of the characters, still, I also thought that that um, it wasn't it was it was a new take on Thor, and also look Loki was was a frost giant, which which was amazing to see him as a frost giant. Finally, um, with with the character side of things, um, I thought Jane 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 Foster said said that she loved Thor even though they hadn't really met for that long, so it didn't really make sense why she she said she loved she loved him. Um I, I found that a bit a bit confusing. And also, um I'm not sure if he actually got married or not, because it, it there was there, there was a few a few seconds in the episode where they, they were in, in the church and and there was someone dressed as Elvis Presley be, being the vicar. So I'm not sure if that was them them getting married in Las Vegas. Or they, they, they didn't get married, I'm not 100% sure. I didn't see any wedding ring, rings on them. Um, there was also a polar bear in the episode that didn't attack Thor. And I think to make it more realistic, it would have made sense for the polar bear to have attacked Thor. Um, so that, that, that's really all I've got to say for the characters. The, the characters are the strongest part of the episode. Still, I did have some problems with the characters. But there, there was just so many amazing characters to see. It was just great to see them all in this episode, and I think it makes it a very rewatchable episode because there's that many things, current characters to look at. Um, also, I thought the episode ended on a high as well. I felt, I felt like it had a happy ending, and audience didn't really get that, so it felt like a complete story. Um, you did have the, the Ultron reveal at the end, but I think the next episode is about Ultron, so that's, that's not really a big deal, but that's really all I'm going to say. Or the character side of things for this episode. In terms of the action, um, Thor and Captain Marvel were fighting. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Cap Captain Marvel and another character in this. And it was just cool to see the two heroes fighting. It reminded me of Captain America Civil War a bit. It's just some something we don't get to see that often in Marvel films. Also, the, the, the animation. Yeah, um, I'm, still, I'm still liking the animation. I don't know if I absolutely love the animation. But I still do think it's a very good animation. For, for for what if, um, and I've, I've got here about the polar bear. I've already mentioned that. So that's really all I'm going to mention for the episode. Not really too much else to really mention um, about about this episode. I did still enjoy it. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure what I rate it out of ten. It says here um, it says it says here eight out of ten, but I'm thinking that maybe eight's a little bit too high. So I'm going to give this episode. A 7.5 out of 10. I still really like the episode. I think it is one of the more rewatchable ones. And I think if I did rewatch it, maybe I might give it an 8. So 
For the time being now, I'm going to rate this episode a 7.5. There is one, one with Tintin Mentor Mentor, which actually, which is the humour. I thought this was the funniest episode of What If. I, I, I just thought it was just really, really funny. A lot, a, a lot of the jokes, but I do feel like I had a problem with Thor Ragnarok. It's too funny at times. Um, and that, that, that's another reason to rate this episode a 7.5 out of 10. But that's it for this episode of What If. You can let me know your opinion of this episode in the comment sec section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be a game review of a game called Judgment. And I'll probably be doing a review for that tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see um, if, if, if I feel like I'm in the mood then because I'm not I'm not 100% at the moment, but hope, hope, hopefully I will be in the next few days. But that's all I'm going to say for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Excelsior, ciao and upset.